this is my first visit to Mongolia and I'm extremely thankful for the hospitality of the Mongolian government and the Mongolian people. I've been uh, impressed uh, with uh, the wealth of um, culture, uh, tradition, combined with modernity and, and with uh, economic and social prosperity in this country. Uh, and this is uh, only possible with strong political leadership, uh, starting by the leadership uh, of the foreign minister of Mongolia, and uh, with whom uh, we feel extremely thankful for organizing this forum. Well, I think that the agenda uh, touched on the most important aspects for the women's rights and gender equality agenda. Number one uh, is women's representation. Uh, both nationally but also internationally. Uh, we discussed uh, how underrepresented uh, women are in positions of power, in parliaments, in governments. We also discussed uh, how important it is to have a multilateral system that is gender balanced, in that women are represented in positions of uh, of decision making in, in high level positions. We brought uh, the perspective of the organization I have the honor to lead, uh, which is uh, GWL Voices, uh, which tracks uh, senior level appointments in the multilateral system. There's a lot to do. Um, as we heard the president of Slovenia yesterday, we are calling for more women uh, to be present, uh, presidents of the UN General Assembly. Uh, we're also calling uh, to have a, a new Secretary General in 2027 that is a woman for the first time in 80 years of history of the United Nations.